I said, how many in this house really love the Lord? I'm not, I'm not talking about no iffy love, no. I'm not talking about no pretending love. But I'm talking about real, genuine love. Thank you, thank you, choir, thank you. There's a, there's a cold spirit in here this morning. Yeah, there's a, there's a stiff spirit. And, uh, the wrong place to, then maybe it is the right place. If not and then, we need to take self-inventory. Of who God is. Sometimes we forget about who God is. And sometimes we make the mistake that God owes us something. When the reality of it is we owe him. That's why I'm going to continue dealing with our stewardship. Because when we stand before God, and some folks don't think they're going to die. You got some folks in the church that, that don't believe they're going to have to give an account. But your book, your record going to be displayed between before us and 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 he going to look at it on February the 25th 2024 when you just sit there like a knot on the log when the choir was singing that I owe him It's, go, it's going to be. It's going to be. Why? Why you didn't join in with them? <laughs> Is that when you ain't got nothing else, you got to praise? I said when you when you ain't got nothing else, and sometime it may you may not be that now, but keep on living. Is that you need to do like the old folks? You need to send some stuff up before it, and that, that's why them old use. The most things is I'm sending up my timber every every day. You know, you and I don't know what may befall us before we get here, before we leave here, rather. And you may you may not be able to whisper prayer, but if you got it in layaway, <laughs> y'all yeah, don't know nothing about layaway. You put, you put, you know, those that don't know. Well, let me just tell you quickly. You put, you know, you purchase something and and you put the, some down on it, and you keep on paying on it until you. Yeah, but but when you when you make some payment, when you make some on layaway, <laughs> is that when you get ready? Yeah. When you can't do, well, when you have it and got it on layaway, that you can be able to retrieve it. Mark chapter 11, I mean chapter number 3. Mark chapter 3. I want to preach again about God's, get on God's team, part 2. Part 2, get on God's team, part 2. Mark chapter 3, verse 13 through 19. Those of us have it, should we read it together? Mark chapter 3. That's a very powerful word there. Found in verse 13 through 19. And should we read it together? And it says, And he went up to the mountain and called to him those he himself wanted. 
And they came to him. Then he appointed 12 that they might be with him and that he might send them out to preach and to have power to heal sickness and to cast out demons. Simon, to whom he gave the name Peter, James, the son of Zebedee, and John, the brother of James, to whom he gave the name Bojana, that is the son of thunder, Andrew, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, the son of Ephesus, Thaddeus, Simon the Canaanite, and Judas Iscariot, who also betrayed him. And they went into a house, may be seated in the presence of the Almighty God. Get on God's team. Got someone on your road behind you, in front of them, just look at them and say, neighbor, Pastor Kimber is going to preach about it. Get on God's team. My brothers and sisters, is that we've been putting an emphasis, and today I want to deal with the importance of giving our time. Say that with me, our time to God. Amen. I want to deal with that's, 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 that's the emphasis that I want to uh, the hammer and auger with on today, today is the importance of giving our time to God. I, I believe that all of us in here, uh, one way or another, love sports. We love, uh, if it's not, we played it, we love to watch it, whether it's basketball or whether it's football or softball or whether it's hockey or soccer or, um, you know, whatever, tennis, whatever, not really tennis, but especially those uh, ones I just named is that, is that um, uh, uh, sometimes we, we fail to realize that there's only one uh, a most important player that uh, is sometimes overlooked, but is the most important player that is on the basketball, or the hockey team, or the football team, or the softball team, or the soccer team that never gets to play. Uh, but but often gets everybody's attention, especially toward the end of the game. And and someone asked, Pastor, who is that person? I'm glad you asked because I want to tell you, is, is that is that the the most important player on those particular uh, uh, games is the one that uh, managed the time. Oh, Lord, I don't believe y'all hearing me. It is, is, that, is that the timekeeper uh, usually is the one that is overlooked, but they are actually in the game. They, they may not get on the field. They may not get on the court, but uh, they are the most important one because sometimes what, uh, what happens is that uh, uh, the player that... Uh, is keeping the time usually will be the one that can motivate, ones that can uh, cause the, the team to become excited because sometimes, don't care how it may be looking, they may be losing, may not have but 10 minutes left on the clock, is that the one that you thought was going to lose because of the one that motivated the one that uh, stirred the team up is that I known the, is that the timekeeper, the person that 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 is managing, the person that uh, is 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 motivating the, the team is that I known teams to win in the last two minutes. 
And oh, my brothers and sisters, can I tell you, as I remind us, is that uh, it behooves us in this life not to wait to the last minute. Not, 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 to, not to gamble on our life. Not, not, not to wait. Yes, we got the victory because of Jesus Christ. But can I tell us is that don't wait until the final two minutes in our lives to get on God's team. Oh, 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 yeah, I, I, say, I say again, don't, don't wait, don't wait. I told you last week is that uh, I don't care how you look at it, is that when you're on God's team, you're automatically on a winning, on a winning team. Don't wait, don't wait, don't wait till you can't do. Don't wait, don't wait till you get to the end of your journey here and, 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 and you start to realize that, that you have not given God some of your time earlier. Is, is, that, is, that, is, is that you wasted most of your time doing your thing. I, I want to gamble with my life. Because I don't know when my number, when my name going to be called. And I want to be able, my brothers and sisters, to stand before God and tell God, God, I, give, I gave you the best of my time. One thing I discovered, my brothers and sisters, is, is when you look at God, is, 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 that, is, that, is that God, God, God been fair to us. In this, uh, in this subject, in this area of time, is that one thing that every human being gets equally from God is the same number of seconds in every minute. You may not agree with me. I know I'm right about it. The same number we've been, we've been equally given the same numbers of hours in a day. We all have been Equally given the same number of days in a year. A few, few weeks from now is that um, they're going to ask us to turn back yeah, the hand, the clock on the wall. Going to tell us to turn back the time an hour a few Sundays from now. And they call it what they lay, they, they lay saving time. And many, many believe that that's actually what takes place. But no, can I tell you, that's not really what's happening. Only thing they're doing is just pushing time around. You're not saving. We're not saving time because that's one thing God equally have given us. Time is something that we have that is different from, other, from any of the other things that we have been given. Yeah, yeah, I can't, I can't borrow your time, and you can't borrow mine. I, I, I can't give you some of my time. Oh, y'all hearing me? Yeah, I, I, I can't, you can't add any of your time to mine. Yeah, yeah, we, we have been, can I say it again? We have all been equally given from God, the same number of seconds in a minute. The same numbers of hours in a day. The same number of days in a year. I can't give you, you can't give me. Time is in God's hand. And the only thing that I've discovered, you got to look at God. God, God is the only one that I know is an Indian giver. He'll give you something. Then he'll mess around there and take it back. Anybody here know what I'm talking about? He'll give you jubilation. He'll give you strength. He'll give you, uh, yeah, he'll give you good uh, vision. He'll give you uh, good uh, leaps. He'll give you all of this. He'll give you uh, pretty long black hair. And he'll give you all of this. Give you 32 teeth. Oh, yes, he will. He'll give you all of this. He'll give you, 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 oh, yeah, 32 
And I said that, but he'd give you a Coca-Cola ball of figure, and then he'd mess around and turn it around. I said, he'll, he'll take it back. And, and some of y'all know what I'm talking about. That you remember the time that 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 you can just bounce up and, and and just a little skip you can be where you're planning on going. But 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 but, but you live long enough to know that sometimes you have to t touch yourself and wake yourself up, shake yourself to get you. <laughs> Ask yourself: Is you gonna cooperate? You gonna do anything? You gonna? You ain't gonna hurt the day is that you you, you, you you have to watch time. It's the only thing that God has given us equally. But all I'm trying to remind us is that is that is that when you look at time, each one of us is either gonna do three of them. And dealing with time, either we're gonna invest our time. Secondly, either we're going to waste our time. And then thirdly, we're either going to share our time. You're going to fall up on either one of those three categories. You're going to invest it. You're either going to waste it. And you're going to share it. And many of you in here can attest to the fact, and I'm a liberal witness, is that uh, it took me to get older. I didn't listen. I think I've been hearing it in Sunday school. If I had to listen to some of these older folks, if I, if I had to just listen, that they told me that life is just like toothpaste. And then once you squeeze it out, can't put it back in there. If I had to just took that wisdom of, 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 of not wasting a whole lot of my time, I think I'll be further up the road than I am now. But since I've wasted some time, is, is, that, is that it behooves me in my latter days is uh, since to, to use the time that have been allocated to me wisely. Can I get a witness? Because Moses, Moses said, out of all that I've accomplished in life, when he got to a certain age in life, is, is, that, is that he prayed to God, God, I don't want you to give me no more wisdom. He, he tells God, 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 I don't want to, I don't want you to give me any more strength, but, but I want you to, I want you to teach me how to use the rest of my days wisely. Because the only thing that is going to live in eternity is God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And when it's all said and done, I want to be with God since he's an eternal God. Is that, is that, is that, is that, is that, is that my Bible tells me I'm going to spend eternity somewhere. Either I choose to spend it with God in heaven or I'm going to spend eternity in hell. Oh yeah, don't, 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 you, let, don't you let this strange doctrine come around here. Uh, telling you, you it, it, is that uh, you're going to be in, uh, 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 you, you're not going to hell, or you're not going to heaven. Is that there's a preparatory somewhere? Is that God won't, he ain't created, you're going to be in between? No, that, that's, that, 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 that's, that, that's a lock from the bottomless pits of hell. Is, is, that, is that you and I are going to spend uh, eternity somewhere, either hell or heaven. There ain't going to be no between. The only between that, 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 that is going to happen is resting. Is, is, that, is, that, is, that, is that before we stand and get our, our reward, whether our reward is going to be eternal in hell, uh, this is good teaching right there, or our eternal going to be in heaven, is that between our departure leaving here, that's going to be a resting point. And the only way there won't be no resting point is Jesus is going to come but before that. Can I get some help in here? But that, that, but that, that, that will not be no in between. And that's why it behooves us not to set anchors, not to get so comfortable, not become so attached with things and people on this side because we're not going to spend more of our time over here than over there. So 
Moses said, teach me how the number to live well. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And the question is this morning, I want to ask, and I need to hear on, is how much of that time, I, I, know, I know we invest in, 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 in retirement, we, we, we invest for a rainy day, uh, we, we, we invest in insurance. We, we invest in a whole lot of stuff. Uh, but, 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 but how much of that investment have we invested in our relationship with God? Because we, and I said, I said this earlier, let me say it again, is that we're going to spend a fraction of our life here on earth. Yet, the way we Yet the, the way most of us live, our goal is to prepare for the last 5, 10, 20 years of our retirement. And we really forget about what Jesus said in his word. Even the parables, even the illustration that he gives, even about the rich man and the poor man, Lazarus. And that we turn a deaf ear. Because we see, my brothers and sisters, is that we are working. We are spending so much of our time, so much of our, our energy, depending upon right now. Yeah. Yeah. Then the hereafter. And all my brothers and sisters, is that when, I, when we look in this pericope on today, and I got, to, I got to hear her on, is that Jesus had sense enough. It's not, it's not so much how long we live, but it's how well we live. When, when you look at some of the great figures, even Jesus Christ, and even uh, historically here in America, when you look at those who we considered died young, like Martin Luther King Jr. and J.F. Kennedy, is, is that, is that, is that when think about Jesus, 33 years old, the impact that they made in the world in the short period of time made a great difference. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh y'all hearing me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus lived on this earth only 33 years. But look at the impact, Martin Luther King. John F. Kennedy, I'm just naming a few of them, did not live to get 70 and get 80 years old. But look at the impact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus, my brothers and sisters, is that the Bible tells us is that, is, is, is that, is that uh, he knew that his earthly uh, 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 life living on the earth was limited when it came down to the amount of time that he had. To accomplish uh, the work that God has sent him to do. Oh, yo, when you look at Jesus, Jesus had dreams. What was his dream, Pastor? I'm glad you asked. His dream was that uh, the same people from that scene. Oh, I know I'm right about it. His, his, his dream, yeah, Martin Luther King wasn't the only one who had dreams. Jesus had dreams that, that, that those who would be saved would be come in power through the work of the Holy Spirit to live such a life that was pleasing in the eyes of God. And Jesus knew that, 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 that he had a certain amount of time to accomplish that. You, you see, you see, you see, time is either working for us or it works and against us. It all depends on what we are doing as we pass and through here. Jesus, Jesus knew very well, he knew very earlier that, 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 that in order for his dream to come to fruition, in order for his dream to be accomplished, is that he had to get a good working team. Yeah, 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 yeah. In order, in order to make his dream work. 
Oh, y'all don't hear me. He needed a team. He, 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 he knew that he was working in a very short window. His public ministry lasted on it. When you look at it, it depends on your, the, 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 uh, uh, the, the historian. Either from five to three years, this all depends on uh, how you want to look at it, who you want to look at it. But he didn't, he didn't have no 30 years. He didn't have no 20 years, but he working between a window of three to five years. Getting this team together. Do you all see this in this third chapter? Mark, look at Jesus. Jesus. Mark said Jesus went up on a mountain. Is that in your Bible? Mark said he called to him those he wanted. Not not. Those who he needed. Because he didn't need anybody. God, 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 God got too much at his fingertips. Too much at his disposal. Matter of fact, he said, if y'all don't want to praise me, I, I put microphones, I put a, a mouthpiece in some rocks. Preaching here, Pastor. Y'all, y'all, y'all can be quiet. Jesus, y'all can be quiet if you want to be. Because y'all remember when he was going into, Ho, into Jerusalem and, and, and they put branches and start calling Hosanna and, and the disciples said, won't you make him be quiet? Jesus said, no, if, if, they, if these shall hold their peace. I, I, I put a vocal card in the rocks. Y'all don't hear me. Yeah, I, I, I make the rocks cry out for me. Yo, I, I, I don't need y'all humans. You, you don't know who I am. When I was coming up, Minister Holt is that, that we used to sing a song, I don't need no robins to cry out for me. Matter of fact, I don't need no rocks. To, Jesus didn't die for no rocks. No, he, he didn't die for no birds. Ain't no dogs going to him. But he died for sinners that looked like you and I. And every time when I think about when I was on my way to hell, when I wasn't fit to live, when I wasn't ready to die, how he saved a wreck like me. I, 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 don't, I don't know how y'all feel. But when I look at old barefooted bar come out of Peace Street, I don't mean to bother y'all. I ain't, I ain't, I'm not at y'all theology. I, I don't know about y'all, but, but, but when I think about how he saved me, saw something in me, Deacon Randy, that he didn't see, that I didn't see in myself. How he picked me up off that dusty road. I, I didn't stay in the field as long as some of y'all. Some, some of y'all are much older than I am. We are. Y'all, 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 y'all know about cotton. I don't know about picking no cotton. But, but, but I, I know about, you know, corn and I know about uh, sweet potatoes. I, I know about going in the field and, and picking peas and butter beans. I, I know about that. I, I know about how getting a switch and beating and whooping on them okra. I know about that. Some of y'all looking at me funny, but I'm talking to some of y'all older than I am. I, I don't know nothing. I can't, I, I can't, I can't attest to picking no cotton. I don't, I just seen it and I just read about it, but I know about the other stuff. Uh, he picked this old dusty boy up. I one one not amount to anything. And, 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 I, and I tell y'all, I'm not at nobody. I don't mean I don't mean to stir them, but when, when, they, when they, I heard them, they said it loud enough. Said that boy ain't gonna be nothing. Mom ain't nothing. The best thing she can do is on the backside. I heard them say, yeah, you ain't gonna, he ain't gonna be nothing. His daddy wasn't, wasn't nothing but an alcoholic. 
Ain't going to amount to anything. But God. Somebody ought to shout, but God. I'm, I'm looking at some of y'all. You're in the house. You're in the house. I, wasn't, I didn't grow up with you, but I know you ain't come with, born with no silver spoon in your mouth. If you be honest, you say you come from a poor family. You didn't have much. I wish I had me about four of y'all. I'll make number five. But God been... The prayer look like just me and you in here this morning. But he's been good to us. And we got the audacity to sit in his presence acting like God owe us something. The Bible said Jesus choose on his team who he wanted. And when I think about how he chose, he called me. Look at you, look at you. We could have died in our sin. But he saw something in you. Saw something in me. My, my, my pastor, Reverend Jackson, said he dusted me off. I was on the trash pile. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I, I, I was thrown away, but I was on the dust pile. And, 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 and he dusted me off. Put his word in me. Push me on out there. Can anybody in here beside me tell the Lord thank you? Can it, can it, I, I ain't all of that now. I'm, I, I, I'm far from being perfect. I'm talking about since I've been saved. But I, I want the record to reflect that. But I thank God that I'm not what I used to be. I may not be all that I ought to be, but I ain't what I used to be. He's still working on Anthony. But since he wanted me, and since I signed up to be on his team, and, and, and when I got to move on. But 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 but, but when you know you're on his team, I, I don't want I don't want you to show me no hands. But 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 but, but that, that that that's only I, I know I know you know about it. I, I know I know some of y'all in here know about. It. I ain't played no football and no but but I, I know I know I've been around and I. <laughs> I, I, I was too scared and too little to, uh, to play football, but I, I, I was a trainer. I, I went around and kind of kept the score. I, you know, I, 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 I was too scared to get hit and all that kind of stuff. But, but, but those of you, you know, Oscar, y'all know about it. Y'all, you know, Deacon Randy, y'all, y'all, you know, y'all, 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 Deacon Joy, y'all, y'all know about that. But, 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 but that was only, that was a fresh strain. There was a second strain, and then there was a third strain. <laughs> now, 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 the only thing I want to ask right there uh, uh, is that which strain was you? Now, 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 now you're on God's team, but what strain? Nah, 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 nah. Don't, don't, don't misunderstand what I'm saying. As long as you're on God's team, you're on the winning team. But I discovered something about they, they, they expect, the coach expects more out of you when you're on the fresh stream. That there is more responsibility. Requires of you, then don't don't mean that those on the second and the third stream don't don't have the ability. But it's more required. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. 
You have to realize that God called them and he called in us. To be on his team. And I think the question lies before us. Are we willing. To put in the time. When you look. When you look closer at the pericope. Is that. Is, is that. Is that he called them because. He wanted them to have an impact. On the world. After he went back to heaven. And we here at New Hope, we ought to make an impact. We ought to have an impact. In this community. That, 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 was, that was a story told about this church that caught a fire. And everybody in the community came out to watch the church burn down. And one of the fire fighters, I'm not talking about here at Thomasville, but that's where, but, but this, this is supposed to be a true story, is that everybody, everybody in Thomasville showed up to see the church burn down. And, and one of the fire fighters trying his best to put the fire out and the old lady went over and, and said uh, I ain't never seen these many folks at the church. She just kept on talking said, I ain't never seen these many folks at the church. And then the old another sister Read right back and said, this is the first time the church ever been on fire. <laughs> you, 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 you ought to not live be in this world on this corner all these years and never catch on fire. Jesus said, I'm going to invest some time in you. Then I want you to invest that time that I've invested you in some others. Because he tells these, I want y'all to walk with me. I got to get out here quick. He said, he said, he said, he said I want you to preach. He, he said, I want you to get to know me. You can't preach about me when you don't know me. And that's why it's, it's, it's imperative that you spend time with the Lord. That's why it's imperative for you to spend time at church. You can't talk about, you can't sell no product when you don't know nothing about it. You're trying to be a salesman and you ain't even, you don't know the product. <laughs> you got folks on the team. First of all, don't believe in the team. Don't, don't believe in God. See, I want to send y'all out. Because I ain't going to be here forever. And I discover my brothers and sisters, and I'm, I'm, I'm quitting. is that we got an obligation to share our faith. You can't share it with nobody until you first share it with your family. You can't, you, can't, you, can't, you can't tell me about Jesus when you ain't first of all shared it with your family. Jesus knew that his time was winding down. And it seemed like his ministry is just getting started. And when you look at it, he called these men. He invested into them. And, and when you kind of look at it, my brothers and sisters, that, that was at least three groups in the, on the team. 
Can I get a witness? He appointed them, and then he tells them, and he sent the 12 out. Listen at the, the, first, the first group, the first strain that he had was Simon, who was Peter, James, and John. Can I get a witness? They're going to do more for the cause of Christ than the other disciples. But yet, yet they all played an important role on the team. The second thing I notice in here is that there were some guys by the name of Andrew, Philip, Thomas, and Matthew. That was, that was, a, that was James the Less. That was Thaddeus. And that was Simon the, the, the Zillock. Is that, is that the Bible don't tell us a whole lot about the ministry of these men. Only thing is that their name was mentioned. But when you read other literature, is that they too had an impact on the world. In other words, they did, not, they, they did not get upset. They did not leave the team just because they wasn't part of the inner circle. Is that they still had a part on the team. And all my brothers and sisters is that we got to remember is that uh, they too, or, or they too played, had a very vital part on the team of God. You know, sometimes folks uh, will leave the team. Sometimes folks will change the team, change the church because they don't get to, they feel like they ought to be the most important one. I told you, they weren't Peter, they weren't James, they weren't John, they weren't in the inner circle. They could have easily switched team. But uh, they stayed with the coach. They stayed on God's team. They, wasn't, they didn't, may not get the recognition uh, like Peter, James, and John did. The name may not have been called as far as being the leaders of the, the early church. But yet they stayed on the team. All I'm glad about it is that I serve a God. Yeah, I say I serve a God that specializes in taking the littleness. To take the, not only the worst of us, but he can take the little of us. And cause us to have an impact on society. Or they did not leave the team because they was not Peter, James, or John. Even though Andrew is recorded as being one of the first disciples. Because he was the one that brought his brother Peter to Jesus. Andrew did not uh, get beside himself. Because I believe that Andrew said, I'm just a nobody. Trying to tell everybody about somebody that can save anybody. The Bible said that that was on the third stream. He was on the third stream by himself. That person was Judas. Judas was a part of the twelve. Can I get a witness? Judas wasted his time. Oh, yes, he did. I say he wasted his time. He had been with Jesus three and some years. He started out on the team. Yeah, looking good. Started out on the team with the intent to follow Jesus. But I need to tell you, Judas, Judas uh, got on the team uh, for himself. Judas uh, stayed on the team uh, just uh, to suit uh, his pleasure. Is uh, He stayed on the team uh, Ah, uh -huh. he was an opportunist. Is uh, he impressed 
the rest of the brethren about his status. And uh, they looked up to Ed, looked up to Judas. Can I get a witness? But Judas, uh, uh, objectived his goal was not like Jesus. Oh no, he wasn't. Uh, Judas, uh, uh, he was only out for himself. Judas was only part of the team. Uh -huh, to see what he can get out of the team. Oh yeah, they trusted Judas uh, that they made Judas uh, the treasure of the team. Oh yes, they did. They trusted Judas, uh, but they did not have uh, any idea. And that Judas uh, was plotting uh, the, uh, all the time. Uh -huh, the time uh, was working against Judas. Oh, yes, it was. Judas began to start thinking uh, about the money. Y'all don't hear me. Uh, Judas uh, started looking uh, uh, how they were collecting the money. And uh, thoughts began uh, to enter into Judas' mind. Uh, how he was going uh, to use the money. Y'all know uh, that Judas uh, got upset with Mary. I, I wish I had some Bible readers. Y'all know Mary was a friend of Jesus. Y'all know uh, that Mary uh, came to where Jesus was. Oh, yes, she did. And she had I had a basil box. Yes, Lord. And that had some perfume in it. And the Bible said she had some oil in it. Can I get away with it? And she pulled and that expensive oil and that expensive perfume on Jesus' feet. And can I get away with it? And she took her pride. She took her glory. Can I get away with it? And begin to start wiping Jesus' feet. The Bible said and that Judas can I get away or steal up matter of fact he what a waste can I get away you want to save this and give it to the poor can I get away what a waste yeah on Jesus' feet but I heard and Jesus said, y'all gonna be with me. Can I get a win? And just for a little while, I won't be here. But what she is doing is a memorial. Can I get a win? Oh, what is about to happen? Can I get a win? 
Jerusalem I had no honor or trinity motive he wasn't concerned about the poor at all can I get a winner he was concerned about the collection about the treasure being he increased can I get a winner I think I need to tell you that you he wasn't concerned about blessing the poor he wasn't concerned about blessing the world he was only concerned about his next move I cannot get a winning Judas began making out a time schedule for his life he's already I had a X amount of dollars y'all know him mean in the treasure but that wasn't enough for him in his lifestyle he began to allow Satan to seem to sit Pops up in his mind. He began to listen to the devil. Yes, sir. I'm telling him if you just turn Jesus in, you can get there pieces of silver. Leon, we have me, but I think I need to tell him, Judas. Kept on trying to scare you away. You want to do? Can I get a wind of them? And what he decided, he all know him is to sell his master. He decided to sell his joy. I in sorrow, he decided to share his way out of nowhere. He decided to share. Can I get a win? His bread over trouble water. He decided the best thing to do is to get rid of. I hear Savior for 30 pieces of silver. And I think I need to tell you, oh, what a cheap deal. Can I get a win when you got the man that all the silver in the gold? What a cheap deal. Can I get a win to get rid of? Doctor in a sick room. Can I get away? I don't know about what y'all been told, but suppose somebody had whispered in Judea upon that mountain. Judas, don't you know what it profit a man? They gain the whole world and lose his soul. Can I tell y'all, I may not have silver and gold. I may not have a whole lot of money. Can I tell y'all, I may not live in no mansion. I may not be able to afford to drive a Mercedes. You don't know what I mean. But can I tell you, I may be poor and I may be deserted, but I'm happy. I said, I'm happy. Why are you happy, Pastor? I'm happy with Jesus. Is that anybody in New Hope this morning? Is that anybody? 
they're not the same. To look at a neighbor and say, neighbor, I may not have a whole lot of worldly stuff, but one thing I know I got. Jesus is anybody on his team that can stand and testify my name may not be in the, in the hall of fame you know, you know in the, my name may not be printed on in the stone but I child of God can y'all look at somebody if you're not ashamed as your name one thing I know that I'm a child I'm a child of God is that anybody I know you's a child if you know you's a child of God can you rear back and tell somebody I'm wrapped up I'm tied up I'm tangled up in the Lord can I ask all the question ain't it alright I say ain't alright if you know he's alright can you just look at somebody and say, neighbor, since I've been on this team, I've been riding, sometimes falling. Can you look at a neighbor and say, neighbor, since I've been on this team, I've had some good days, I've had some bad days. Can you tell a neighbor, say, neighbor, I don't know about you, but since I've been on this team, since I've been on this team, everything, all of my good days, how I weigh my bad days, since I've been on this team, I've learned. to praise it. I've learned how to tell them thank you, sir. Ah, I want to do it. Ah, I want to do it. Won't he make it all right? He may not come when you want him, but is there anybody in hell? No, he'll show up. No, he'll be right there. Won't he do it? Ain't no different what may befall you. Stay on your team. Don't care what you may have to go through. Oh, yeah. If you stay on your team. When you put the time in, when you can't do what you used to do, you can look up and say, Lord, I did my best. Lord, I went when I didn't feel like it. Put 
to time in. I am on the battlefield for my Yes, I'm on Oh, I promise and that I will serve Yes, I'm on. Let me hear you. Oh, yes, I'm on. Oh, yes, I'm on. Oh. That I was serving. Yes, I'm on. The doors are open. Mm -hmm. I was a lonely idol. I was a sinner too. I heard for some heaven. Turn there is what to do. I took my master's hand and I joined the Christian band. That's why I'm on. Help me one more time. Oh, yes, I'm on. Baptism, will you come? Dedication, we commit. I'm on. Oh, oh, I promise and that I'll accept. Yes, I'm on. You ought to come. You ought to come. I used to hear the old church who said these words. My friends and kids, I'm bound for the promised land. The grace of God upon me. I got the Bible in my hand. It's a distant land I try. Crying sinners, come on to God. That's why I'm on. God bless you. I made a vow. I'm on. I made a promise to the Lord. Oh, I promise. Stay right there. I promise. Uh, I promise. I made a promise to the Lord. That I was serving. That's what I'm on. I think it's ready to go. Send him on to pray for all of us.